Hey you, Meowkaz are coming at you today with a how to play guide to Tia. Tia is a D plus star blunt character who ha is incredibly consistent, however she has incredibly low stats for her character. Most notably she starts with 11 stat attack, ends with 50 attack, she even starts on low armor side with 12 armor finishing at 47. Uh, because of this you have to take advantage of her abilities to make her catch up with the rest of the characters in the game. What makes her so strong is her passive skill, it is called Go Squirrel. For every time Tia searches an area, she receives paints. After collecting 12 paints, Tia can paint a picture of a squirrel and bring it to life. The squirrel will help Tia to search for items in the area to bring back one of Tia's desired item. When Tia is attacked, the paint stack number resets. Uh, this also counts if you get attacked by a wild animal, your paint stacks reset. You cannot grab RNG items such as Tree of Life and Meteorite this way, but you can grab anything else, including items that other people bring into the area. So like if I pick up a tuna at docks and I drop it over at chapel, uh, Tia can still fetch it with Ghost Squirrel. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, because of this, you will be using the skill in order to force some very greedy setups. We'll get into that later. Her combat skill is Paintwork. It has a cooldown of 60 seconds, can't be used on animals. She performs a normal attack alongside with granting three turns of several paints effect consecutively while dealing extra damage as following. So the first time she presses this button, uh, she does 3% of the opponent's current HP as damage in additional to her regular damage. Uh, the second time she uses it, she deals 10% armor penetration. And then the third time she uses it, she deals an additional 8% of the opponent's lost missing HP. So, this doesn't go on cooldown until you use the third usage. So until you use the blue paint, the 60 second cooldown doesn't start. The way you should be thinking of this skill, you just press this off cooldown. The only time that it actually matters is in the final area where you want to be using the first two to start the damage. And then you're going to want to use the third trigger in order to try to finish them off. So let's talk about that field skill. Uh, most notably, you're going to be wanting to force items such as Hero Helmet, Searing Palm Scroll, uh, basically is stuff that are typically considered very greedy to build. Most notably is that Tia can kind of just get away with getting it done incredibly early in comparison to most characters. Coffee start. We have food. And we have a direction. Definitely grab a fountain pen while we're here. Grab the rubber. Don't need the scissors anymore. Hopefully we're strong enough for this. Oh, we definitely aren't. Nice. Grab the glue. Anything else I want to grab? Ah, there was. That sucks. That sucks. It's okay. We need all the thick paper in the world now. All of it. Grab both anatomy models. Living the dream.
Give me another thick paper. I love to see it. It's definitely better than what I'm going for. Last thick paper. <laughs> thick paper dot exe. Oh, I'm so sorry, friend. I happen to have taken both anatomy models. Seems good. Yo, I just want oil. Killed by bat. First, I want to grab this, and then grab the other potato. That order matters. I'm going to take this for now. Not exactly a fan, but... I think I have to. Sorry, friend. Nothing personal, I just need you out of my lobby. Why is everyone coming here? There are other areas to go, you know. I mean, nice peace zone, dude. You almost died for it. There it is. God, I took both already. Jesus. slums, but I can't get it. That sucks. I'm just gonna focus on finishing my armor. I need a lighter. What's up? Let's go grab that lighter now. Now is a good time as any. There it is. Ponds. Oh, 
Nice counterattack. Stacking more bird meat. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. I don't have to worry about that. Let's get going. Try to get another lighter. What's up? Goodbye, sir. Lighter. Lighter. There it is. Awesome. That's an inventory. Why did I take 10, H 10 damage? What? Where'd the 10 damage come from? Explain. What's going on, docks first? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, friend. I already used both. I seem to have failed to find Wickline. Just because I searched an area once doesn't mean it wasn't necessarily there. Yeah, there it is. Even you. Jesus. We're just gonna keep stacking fried chicken. Let's go. And water. Out here. Let's see what's going on at beach. I see.
I could have killed him. I believe. Know it. He's trying. Get me out. An attempt was made. A very respectable attempt. Definitely need the scrap metal there. I mean, you could actually just read what it does. <laughs> it's not like it's a secret what she does. That might happen. Another turtle shell then. These are still here. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Hey, 
Ne. Ah, oh, no temple though. Don't want to hold that to deny it. Nice. Also want that corpse again. So we're just going to vibe here. Found it. Keep doing my thing. Yo, I narrow TV. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to Yaku. Really appreciate it, dude. Am I not finding this guy? No. Hello, hello. Hey, Grant. All right. There's a the TL win that I should have had last game. Uh, the, the buff matters. You can go with for much greedier builds more consistently. Completely destroying these blunt players who thought that they could get in that mom. No, they're both mine. Both of them. Get out of here. Another thing is that she can really easily scout out areas for food, and so it's not uncommon for Tia's to just outvalue people in the late game because they were just sitting in docks, scouring all three tunas, and then switching over to beach, scouring all the saris. This is incredibly common play. Take advantage of the fact that Tia can literally check to see if there's still food in an area. So even if you think, oh, there's probably not any potatoes in Cemetery late game, go there, check, see if there's actually any still there. Chances are there might actually still be one. This character's power comes from her consistency. As long as you play very consistently and well, you should be able to win most of your games on Tia, especially if you're forcing Searing Palm Scroll every single game. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. <laughs> 